Hey, how's it going? Michael from ServiceMate, and this video is all about automation. Who doesn't like the idea of automation? If there's a task that's worth doing which can be automated, why not automate it? ServiceMate automates a lot of things in different ways, but in this video, we'll specifically look at the automation add-on. There are five types of automations you can set and forget using this add-on. We'll cover each of these in a bit of detail, as well as how this feature works across the board. Now, if you've already activated automation, awesome. Feel free to stop here, go do other things. If you haven't activated automations, you need to keep watching because these are easy wins for you and your team. So first things first, activate the automation add-on. It's available on all ServiceMate plans. With that out of the way, let's go. You can set ServiceMate to automatically text or email clients a reminder about their upcoming booking. The text looks something like this, and the emails something like this. Clearly, this kind of reminder is a nice touch. It reduces no-shows, and it just helps things run smoothly. To make it happen, in Settings, click Automation. If you want the super fast setup option, click Enable, and it will just start working. Automated messages will send using the default timeframes and message templates. If you want to edit these settings, click Edit. First, set whether you want to remind clients via email, text, or both. Second, set when you want your reminders to be sent. Text messages will only send to clients during the day, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Any text messages scheduled to send after 7 p.m. will be delayed till 7 a.m. the next day. Lastly, tweak the automated messages to suit your style. Also keep in mind you can use merge fields to automatically insert client and job details. Once done, click next to review and finish. An important note here is how it says reminders will only be sent for jobs with the booking reminder badge applied. This means you need to activate the booking reminder badge for each job where you want these reminders to send. But since this is a video about automating stuff, a more automated approach would be to activate the reminder badge on your job templates so that this badge is applied by default. If you don't use job templates, check them out. It's a simple, straightforward add-on where you create pre-made job card templates for common types of jobs. So, once set up, automated booking reminders will be set to send on jobs where the booking reminder badge is applied. You can see scheduled reminders in the job diary. A booking reminder will be set for each individual booking, so keep this in mind if you do jobs which require more than one visit, or if you're scheduling several team members to the same job just at different start times. If a job is rescheduled, the automated reminder will automatically update its send date and time. If a job is cancelled, the automated reminder will automatically cancel itself. You can also manually remove a scheduled message on a job in the jobs diary by clicking the down arrow, then remove. Next. A simple follow-up to a client after sending them a quote can be the difference between winning the job and not winning the job. Sometimes clients need a reminder or just a prompt to ask some questions that cause them to hesitate. So automating a short, polite follow-up message to quotes that you've sent out will systematically win you more work or saving you the time of following up manually. To set automated quote follow-ups, go to the automation add-on settings and next to quote follow-up, click edit. First, decide if you'd like to follow up by text, email, or both. Second, set how long after you email a quote to a client to send a follow-up. Lastly, tweak the content of the messages to suit your style. When you're done, click next, then finish. And from here, Whenever you email a quote to a client, your automated follow-ups will be set to run on that job. You can see scheduled follow-ups in the job diary. Now, there are a few scenarios where the automated follow-ups will be cancelled from sending. Like if the client replies to your quote before the follow-up is scheduled to send, if you send them a message after sending them the quote, if the quote is accepted online, or if the job status is manually updated from quote to something like work order. Sometimes customers need reminding to pay their invoice. To help cash flow and reduce time spent chasing payments, you can set ServiceMate to auto follow up clients if payment hasn't been received after their invoice due date. To do so, go to your automation settings 
and next to Payment Follow-up, click Edit. Decide if you'd like to follow up by text, email or both. Next, set how long after the invoice due date that you'd like to follow up. Lastly, tweak the content of the message to be as gentle or firm as you like. Now, an important note about how this automation and invoices work. The due date of an invoice is calculated from the day the job status is updated to completed, not the date the invoice was produced. Some people don't like how ServiceMate does this, but it's a very intentional feature to promote cash flow and the finalization of jobs. ServiceMate's entire job completion and invoicing workflow is deliberately designed to help you get paid. So when jobs are done, mark the job as completed, generate the invoice and send it off as soon as possible. Ideally, the same day. Send it by email and SMS, either from the app or online. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, Michael. Sometimes it takes a couple of days to finalize the billables on an invoice. Then our customers get cranky because by the time the invoice goes out, there are only a few days left till the due date. We understand. But basing the due date from when the invoice was sent would only harm cash flow. It would just contribute to increased times between your outgoings and doing the work and when you get paid for it. So in this scenario, we'd recommend reviewing your workflows and how you manage these kinds of jobs so you're in a better position to invoice the same day. If this still doesn't work for some types of jobs, then maybe these jobs aren't really complete when they're being updated to complete it, and it's more of a workflow thing. Maybe instead, when checking out of a job where the billables need a lot of work, staff should assign it to a queue for finalizing invoices. This isn't what we would call best practice, but it would let you create a structured workflow for finalizing all billable items for complex jobs. Then you can mark the job as completed and issue the invoice. So, automated payment reminders are calculated from when a job is completed. They'll only be set to go out for jobs where the job is completed, the invoice has been sent, but payment hasn't been recorded. And if payment is recorded before the scheduled follow-up, the automation will be canceled. Now, Booking reminders, quote follow-ups, and payment reminders are all quite specific automations with specific objectives. However, it's possible to create other, more tailored follow-up automations which send to clients sometime after their job has been completed. This is possible with badge follow-ups. These automated follow-ups are handy for things like inquiring with clients about how they found your service, whether there's anything else they need help with, or requesting a review or a testimonial. For more specific types of jobs, you could also create badge follow-ups to provide product care tips and advice or remind clients to book a periodic service. Creating a badge follow-up is similar to other automations. In Automation Settings, click New Automation and select Badge Follow-up. First, set whether to follow up by email, text or both. You'll also need to give the automation a name, which will be displayed on its badge in Job Cards. Make the name clear and short. Second, set how long after a job is completed that you want the message to automatically send. Note that you can check this box to cancel the automation in the event a new job is created for the same client before the scheduled send date. Lastly, write the messages to suit your objective. These automations are called badge follow-ups because, similar to how booking reminders work, these automations are set on a job by enabling their badge. You'll need to apply the badge before the job is marked as completed. Applying the badge in certain job templates can also be a good idea to systemize these follow-up automations. Also keep in mind that you can create more than one badge follow-up automation. Now, most automations you can set up with this add-on focus on sending messages to clients. The form inbox automation is an internal business automation specifically for actioning items from the completion of forms on site. Essentially, if digital forms being completed on site require some kind of follow-up action, such as booking another job, providing a quote, or alerting someone, you can set certain responses in a form to trigger a message to arrive in your ServiceMate inbox. For example, if you have a form for servicing specific types of assets, you can set a trigger that when the condition or performance of a component requires further action, a message will arrive in your inbox for potential conversion to a follow-up quote or work order. To set a form follow-up automation, go to Automation Settings, click New Automation and select Form Inbox Follow-up. Next, select the specific form which contains the trigger. 
Now, set the conditions around what type of responses to certain questions in the form will trigger an inbox message. You can have up to three triggers and the inbox message will arrive if any of these trigger conditions are met. Once you've set the trigger conditions, you can also decide when the inbox message is sent, either on job completion or on form completion. If you only complete a certain form once on a job, or you want to be made aware of a certain form response as soon as possible, having the message sent on form completion is a good idea. However, if the same form is used several times, such as where you're completing a service form on multiple assets on site, having the message sent on job completion might be more manageable, as this option will collate all the triggers from the same form completed on the same job. It will collate these into a single inbox message when the job status is updated to completed. Now, we'll finish with some general tips. For automated email and text messages going out to clients, these are sent to the job contact. If the job contact's details are blank or invalid, it will then default to send in to the billing contact. The exception here is invoice payment reminders, which default straight to the job's billing contact. You can view scheduled messages in a jobs diary online and cancel them if needed. Just click the down arrow next to the diary entry and remove. You can also view all processed and upcoming automations in automation settings. If there's a reason why a message won't send, such as there being an invalid mobile number or email address, it will be highlighted in the job diary and noted in automation settings. Lastly, just like other emails sent out of ServiceMate, clients can respond to automated follow-up emails and those responses will appear in the job diary. Also, if you have two-way SMS activated, clients will be able to respond to your automated text messages as well. The link to your message portal is automatically added to automation text. So, clients can reply here as well and their response will come through to the job diary. So there you have it the five types of automations you can set and forget with the automation add-on. For more information, please check out the Help Center or the automation articles in level three of the Learning Roadmap. See you later.